In my 2012 review, I explored the role healthy diet may play in preventing, treating, and reversing our deadliest diseases. In 2013, I covered our most common conditions. This year, I'd like to address some of our leading causes of disability. Let me close with cancer, a leading cause of death and disability. How many years of life are lost, potentially preventable cancers? Every year, more than five million expected years of life in the United States are lost to those three disabling cancers alone lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and breast cancer. Therefore, identifying and improving strategies for prevention of cancer remains a priority, especially since no more than 2% of all human cancer is attributable to purely genetic factors. So 2% may be in our genes, but the rest may involve external factors, particularly our diet. You know, our skin is about 20 square feet our lungs, if you actually flatten them out, like a thousand square feet of surface area, but our intestines, 3,000 feet, if you include all the little folds, 3,000 square feet. Um, so, it's our, so what we eat is our primary interface with the outside world, right, with our external environment. The most comprehensive study, summary of evidence on diet and cancer ever compiled recommends we eat foods of plant origin to help prevent cancer. This means centering our diet around whole plant foods, not just whole grains and beans every day, but every meal. And when it came to foods that increase cancer risk, they were similarly straightforward. Unlike some other dietary changes that kind of wimp out and just advise people to moderate their intake of bad foods, like eat less candy. The cancer guidelines didn't mince words when it came to the worst of the worst. For example, don't just minimize soda intake, avoid it. Right? Don't just cut back on bacon and hot dogs and ham and sausage, lunch meat, avoid processed meats, period. Because data do not show any level of intake that can be confidently be shown not to be associated with risk. Even small amounts may be risky. Processed meat can not only be thought of as a powerful multi-organ carcinogen, but may increase the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Red meat was bad, but processed meat was worse, and that included white meat, like chicken, turkey slices. So with more heart disease, cancer, and diabetes, no surprise, processed meat consumption is associated with increased risk of death, even at small amounts. In Europe, they calculated that reduction of processed meat consumption to less than a half a hot dog's worth a day would prevent more than 3% of all deaths. This was the second largest prospective study on dying cancer ever, a study of 400,000 people. Well, the largest ever, 600,000, was done right here in the US, the AARP study. They found the preventable fraction to be even higher, suggesting that 20% of heart disease deaths among women, for example, could be averted if the highest consumers cut down to less than like a quarter strip of bacon's worth a day. Right? That's a lot of death. 